Okay, so this is part two of my updates to the um, Wi-Fi controller for, for my Rover. Uh, now, before I move on to what I've done with the controller itself, um, there are a couple of upgrades that I've made to the Rover, um, which will be sending back information to the controller, which will be displayed on the TFT screen. So the first thing I've added, uh, you can see at the front here, is um, an ultrasonic sensor. So I'm just going to use this. It's fixed. Uh, it's not rotating. The bot will rotate. Um, and this is fixed and will record distances up to 99 centimeters just so that they're displayed nicely on the on the controller screen. So that's the first thing that's been added. And the second thing that I've added up here is a very cheap little um, compass. Uh, so this is the QMC5883. Um, a real pain to actually uh, code. Um, but all of that is done now. I've mashed together code from three separate sources and things like the calibration is now automated. So the when the robot, when the rover is turned on, <clears throat> which you'll see in a minute, uh, it will rotate uh, 10 seconds, I believe, one direction, 10 seconds in the other direction um, in order to calibrate this uh, little compass which will be sending information back to the controller. So I'm just about to show that to you now all in action with the controller and the robot. So now let's take a look at the rover working with the controller. So the first thing I need to do is switch the rover on and it will go through its calibration routine for the compass. So it's going to rotate clockwise for 10 seconds, stop, and then anti-clockwise for 10 seconds. Okay, so all of that code was um, done asynchronously, so it is continuously recording um, the compass measurements as the robot is rotating. Okay, now you will have seen, perhaps you can't quite see on there, but it's just gone through its connection routine and I have a steady green light at the top of the box. Okay, so it's time to turn on the, the controller. Okay, so if I just bring this back slightly so we can see the controller and the robot. Okay, so the controller occasionally just get a little bit of delay there we go so that's now connected to my router and there we are we're in the um so this is the menu screen that i've created now, there are four menus on here uh for options rather uh, joystick which is default um, sonar compass and tilt which i haven't coded yet um, and that's uh, for some, something i will i will do for the the last of the three videos Okay, so in the menu you can control, you can decide on which option you want just by controlling uh, with the joystick. So if I want compass or sonar or joystick, and then press the, the button here to select that. Okay, so I'm in joystick mode here. So there we go. So you can see the robot rotating. So this is the, the code that I had essentially from the original um, from, from the first video that you saw. So again, it will rotate nicely on the spot and so forth. Okay, so the two-way side of things. Okay, so if we now press this button here, I'm back into the option screen and now let's go to sonar. So what it's reading here is the um, the robot actually is 99 centimeters, well, or more. Um, so I, I cut off at 99 so it fits on the screen. Uh, apologies for the uh, the font, but it's the font that I, I got with the rather poor um, library I'm using for my screen. Okay, so let's rotate the robot backwards. Okay, bring it close to my 3D printer and then rotate him. And we start to see him picking up. There we go. So distance, there we go, 24. If I reverse slightly, you can see that's red. Okay, that's gone to orange, so I think between 30 centimeters and 50 centimeters, I have an orange or an amber, and then rotate further, and we're in the green distance, so the robot's happy, it's far enough away from the object. And you can see it's gone to, um, there we go, under 30, it's gone to red. I haven't put any code, it will simply bash into things. <laughs> but you can have the robot then, of course, um, let's rotate him around like this and bring him forwards a little bit. Okay. Let's come forwards. OK, 
can. I mean, we can have the robot rotate and scan. Obviously, there's nothing in the way there. Oh, it picks up. Yeah, it's picking up the 3D printer. Okay, so that's the um, that's the two-way communication from from the rover, from the ultrasonic sensor at the front of the rover to the to the controller. So let's go back into the menu and go down to compass. Okay, so it's, I'm choosing compass mode here, and I've just made a very simple bitmap. Now it may be quite tricky to see on the screen there, but there there should be a little red dot there. Uh, which is the the compass heading so as i rotate the robot you'll see the compass the little red dot moves round and there's a reading of the angle the bearing that we've got for the for the robot now this is not military precision bearing um, but once the calibration has been done it's actually pretty good so that is let's see that should be quite close north i've gone too far yeah there we go so that's about two degrees to three degrees and that is pretty much where north is um, in from my house and if I rotate that around about 180 degrees uh, roughly, there you go so 182 so I'm getting a really nice um, range of bearings here uh, and as you can see the little red dot I mean I, I can certainly improve the the interface on this but I'm very happy with that there we go so the robot rotates around and of course it will maintain the bearing more or less as it's moving backwards and forwards along that line so i'm very very happy about that and then i can just go back into sonar if i wish to or back into joystick mode uh, which was the one that you saw before so all nicely working